Hey everyone, this is Data Engineer One, and welcome back to another episode on Writing Data Pipelines with Kedra, where I show you how to write better data pipelines. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Kedro Viz. They had a new release, the 3.3.0 release that happened, I think, maybe yesterday, two days ago, um, that comes with some pretty cool features. Uh, and so one feature in particular that I wanted to talk about today was a hidden feature. Yeah, so I actually, um, looking at the documentation at the time of recording, you actually can't find information about this feature, but it actually exists. And so I'm going to show you guys some cool Kedra secrets today. Um, the feature that I'm going to be covering is basically what's called layers. Uh, so there's this idea in the Kedro in, in the Kedro nomenclature that the pipeline can be broken up into different layers. Um, you can read more details about it on the Kedra documentation, but basically there's this idea of having a raw layer, which is where you have your rawest, you know, the very first um, in insertion of data into your Kedra pipeline. Um, then you have the intermediate layer, which is where you start cleaning it a little bit. Uh, then you have your primary layer, and the primary layer is where you want to start drawing your data from. Um, this is like after your data has been cleaned and like joined as well. Uh, this is like the most useful for your model work. Uh, and then you have your model input layer, which is when you start to impute the data with model specific features, et cetera, et cetera, your feature engineering. And then you have your model data itself, which is the, the generation of the model. And then you have the model output. So this, these are the predictions. And then finally you have a reporting layer. So this layer is where you have the data that you want to report. Uh, in today's example, we're not going to go through all of those examples exactly, um, but at the very least, I'm going to show you how Kedro Viz takes advantage of this layering idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. Okay, so here we have Kedro Viz 3.3.0, and it looks super great. Um, the big changes that happened here was that the toolbar that previously was on the right was moved to the left. Uh, some of the buttons are a little bit nicer. You have like this very sleek interface for checking the, the tags, uh, for like filtering the nodes that are displayed by the tags. Um, but here's the feature that I want to show you guys today. And this is the hidden feature right here on the left-hand side, show layers. So you can actually have your pipeline separated into these different layers. This is your raw testing training model predictions. This is just some layers that I made up. Um, and what happens here is as you zoom in, you start exploring your pipeline, the layers actually stick onto the side of the screen in order to, to keep, help you keep track. So it's pretty cool. Um, now, the truth is that I was not able to find any documentation about this feature. So in order for me to make this video for you guys today, I actually had to go through and read through all the code of Kedro Viz and the and Kedro pipeline in order to figure out how this was done. But I figured it out and I'm here showing it to you guys. So if you guys appreciate some of that work, why don't you button that like and sub that subscribe and we'll get going and show you how it's done. Okay, so if you go in here, we're gonna open up a par charm. And this is the secret, this is the magic. The inside of your catalog.yaml, there's a special attribute that all pipeline configuration, or sorry, data set configurations accept. And this is the layer configuration. It is specifically this value that determines the layers that show up inside of the Kedro Viz. So as you can see, we have raw training, uh, testing model predictions, and these are for the data sets that come with the Iris data set. Um, and here in Google Chrome, you can see uh, all of the predictions here as well. Um, the prediction model training testing raw. Uh, so that's actually the secret. That's it. You can add that layer feature to your data sets and it will show up here in the Kedra Viz. Um, but of course, that might not be enough for you guys uh, because there is the case where you can auto generate your pipelines. And so if you guys don't know about auto generating your pipelines, I have a video about it. Um, you can take a look in our previous videos. But long story short, you can generate a pipeline based on a configuration file. Uh, in the previous iteration, I'm sorry, in the previous video, I showed off this one called My Datasets, uh, where you can actually generate a pipeline based on a configuration here. Um, in our case, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can actually not only generate these data sets, but also generate the layers automatically as well. Uh, so if we go over here to our pipeline, do, 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 
Um, and then we actually just go ahead and use the My Datasets pipeline here instead of the default ones. Ba -ba. Uh, we'll restart Kedro Viz. This is a Kedro Viz, this is the Kedro Viz command that's running. We're just doing Kedro Viz inside of the uh, Kedro project folder. It'll pop up with the new um, thing. And here it is. And voila, we have our Hello World layer, our Good Night Moon layer, and our Twinkle My Stars. Uh, and so that's the, those are exactly the data sets that we have inside of here. Uh, and we've auto-generated those layers. So let me show you how you can auto-generate these layers. So if you go into your run.py, the way that the layers work is it's actually just a dictionary that is attached to your catalog. And so the only thing that you need to do is you need to create a, a, a dictionary entry that includes the name of the layer that you want to use, and it contains a set of names for the data sets that belong inside of that layer. So in this case, for our auto-generated layer, um, what we're doing is we're just pulling in the data set name as the layer itself. Um, but you can, of course, change this to anything that you want. So for example, if I were to do an enumeration on our My Data Sets, which is coming in as a list, we can say I here. And then we can have our data layers be something like layer. And then we can add in our I value here. Uh, and so if we were to stop and then reload this guy, stop and rerun, we'll see that the different the indexes become the layers there. So layer zero, layer one, layer two. Uh, in the case of the current pipeline, the way that I created the layers also is I used in-memory data sets as the type. And so this is really important. Uh, because inside of the configuration file, you, you're probably used to, to only having your special, like your specific data sets. This is from our data set injection video, um, and it includes like this file path and this stuff. But what if you just want the layer and you don't necessarily want to keep the data set written on disk, like for example, in a Spark data set? You can actually just use the memory data set and then just add the layer here um, as you please. And that's, that's, uh, that's all you have to do. So it's a very, very simple process. Um, one caveat of this guy is that if you if you combine too many layers that are uh, basically unmatching, like so, for example, if we put the data science, data engineering, and the my data sets auto generated layers in the same pipeline, you're going to see, unfortunately for us, that the layers kind of get a little bit messy, but they still are separate, just not in an order that uh, you would uh, either uh, understand or expect. See, so you can see how the unrelated pipeline, which is the pipeline that is the auto-generated auto -generated one, uh, is kind of just mixed in with the, uh, with the Iris data set pipeline. Uh, but of course, we can turn off our layers. And well, it still is a little bit mixed in, but that's OK. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys appreciate this content, really would love you button that like, sub that scribe, and ring that ding if you want to know when we're pipelining. And good luck with all your data pipelines out there. I hope this information was useful. And again, I love your questions. I love your comments. And I love to see the stuff that you guys do with Kedro. So please, please, please hit up that comment section and share your pipelines with me. All right. Cool. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.